What's up guys, it's Matt here. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the limit. What's the limit, what's your limit? How much can you accomplish in a set amount of time? And what should you aim for? So here's what happened to me recently. I wrote a book, I went from idea to publishing it in around 19 weeks. Now that's just over four months. And when I tell people, yeah, I wrote a book in three and a half months and published it in four and a half, some people react by saying, wow, that's incredible. Almost like, that's how did you do that? right surely it takes a long time to write a book and rest assured it took a lot of energy to write this book and in my mind i always thought it's going to take many many months maybe even years to write one but actually when i used my own strategies to make sure i compress time and i started working on the book and putting in regular work then the book kind of started happening and i was able to write in a very short amount of time now, most people say, how did you do that? That's impressive. To me, that made me think, well, what was the limit? Because the limit, 12 months, many years, that expectation, that yardstick was just in my mind. Clearly, it was wrong because I was able to write a full book over 200 pages in a few weeks. So now that I know the yardstick was wrong, the limit was just on my mind. So at the moment, I'm thinking, why not one month? Why not four weeks? You know, why did it take me so long to write it? because I didn't know what else to measure it against, but now I do, right? And so this is a concept I'd like to share with you that I really like. Whenever you feel that you've reached a certain limit, what I recommend doing is doing a particular action that's gonna give you results in a, in a sprint. So here's another example from my fitness journey. When I learned to muscle up, that's when you put yourself up on a, on a pull-up bar um, and go over it. I was able to do it one, two, three times, and then I kind of stopped. I wasn't able to go beyond that. So one day I said, I'm, I'm going to do 10 today. I'm going to go from, from three to 10 today, and I actually did 12. So again, by changing that limit from three to 10, I was actually able to exceed it and go four times the amount I was able to do the same until that same day. So whenever you feel stuck, Take one action that's gonna give you those results, but take it in sprints, take it in bursts. For example, you could take a lot of calls if you're trying to expand your business. Send a lot of emails if you wanna promote your brand. Maybe you wanna to talk to more men or more women because you wanna meet uh, and become more, com more confident as a person. So all these things, if you do it in burst, you'll never be the same because your standard, your expectations, your limit will have changed. And so this is, this is a big lesson. And again, it was reinforced by this sprint that I did on the book. Most of the time, limits are just in our mind and it's when we go do a sprint that proves us wrong, that's when we set a new expectation, a new limit. And then guess what? We do it again. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments, what's your next sprint? What's a limit you wanna break? What's a limit you wanna prove yourself wrong? And what's one action you can take as a sprint over the next few days or few weeks? And if you enjoy this, subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.